There was discrimination right in front of people's noses, but they didn't see it. They've mastered, in their own words, the art of behaving badly. The thing is, when you tell people the system is unfair, they don't really believe you. But when you show them the numbers, there's nothing they can say to counteract that. Meet the anarchist feminist New Yorkers deploying not-so-subtle guerrilla tactics. We would go after every cross-section in the art world. For nearly 40 years, the guerrilla girls movement, made up of artists and curators, have hidden their identities to protest about sexism and inequality in art institutions around the world. The we sat down with two members of the Guerrilla Sisterhood at their new Tate Modern exhibition. <laughs> and I won't lie to you, it was a surreal experience. Okay. Marvelous. Can you see my eyes? Yeah, okay? I, can see, I can see your eyes. Okay, cool. Can we see, are we happy with the eyes? Yes, we can. Great. Okay, yeah. Are they comfortable, by the way? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, for us mere mortals just sort of wearing our own skin, I'm wondering, being an anonymous gorilla, what does, what does that give you? Well, you'd be surprised what comes out of your mouth when you're wearing a gorilla mask. Really? So do you lose all your inhibitions? Not all of them. The anonymity came about because in the beginning, people really hated us and they wanted to bother us. And um, so we decided to be anonymous and then adopted this crazy disguise. But now it's just, it's just part of our lives. Have you in the past experienced sort of intellectual snobbery? Have people sort of not taken you seriously because you are dressed as, frankly, gorillas? You know, we had supporters and we had, uh, we had haters. I think it's been part of the secret of our success because the whole idea was this isn't about a person telling you what to think. This is about a group and, and an entirely new idea about how to look at art and how to think, at what's, uh, think about what's behind it. Pacing the streets with posters and placards, the Guerrilla Girls movement was born in 1985, famously in reaction to an exhibition at New York's Museum of Modern Art. It was supposed to represent the top artists in the world. Only out of the 169 shown, just 13 were women. Now, you're not just obviously gorillas, you are gorillas with data. I'm really interested to know that you've been <laughs> conducting your own research for years about the, the female nudes in art galleries. Why do you think the art world is obsessed with nudes, female nudes? <laughs> That's a really good question. I think it was because um, the, the painters were almost all male. Or but I think there's another explanation as well for why there are so many naked women uh, in Western art, and that is one word that we all learned by watching the movie Barbie, patriarchy. From the gender pay gap to abortion, their work is full of political messaging. They say their activism is as relevant as ever, given the recent rowing back of rights in America. It's a horrible time in the US right now. Rights are um, being infringed every day, and we just have to keep trying to stop that little, little by little by little. But it's just a very small group um, who have figured out how to wield great power. If you make people laugh, if you put people on the spot, and if you use information, you can actually change people's minds. One of your greatest weapons is humor. Mm -hmm. Do you think that feminists get a kind of bad rep for being a bit earnest, basically? Feminists get a bad rep for everything. And uh, I think if you look at some of the early, uh, you know, s women's movements in the United States, for example, there's a lot of humor in throwing your underwear in a trash bin and burning it. And uh, humor has always been a, a weapon of a marginalized group against an oppressor. Sometimes it's the only weapon that you have. You punch up the power structure. And the Guerrilla Girls believe the art market is a billionaire boys club owned by a select few. The problem with the art world is that a few people can purchase art, control it, hide it. <laughs> so why should that be a history of our culture? They want to make their work accessible. Fans can take something away from the exhibition. And they're not above a photo booth. That's a good one. 